Hi everyone, it's Nicole. So today I am going to be creating an automation to share calendar invites to a client's or recipient's email address via Airtable automations. And I'm doing this utilizing the direct Google Calendar integration that Airtable has in their automation. I'm not doing this via a synced URL or a calendar view in Airtable. Uh, synced URLs, we do find that there could be a delay of anywhere from 15 minutes to a full day if you are sending stuff or trying to update somebody's calendar via those URLs. So this solution gives you something that will happen more instantaneously and also allow you to update the original calendar record or calendar invite that was sent to the recipient. So I'm gonna go ahead and start at my table that's gonna have the dates that I wanna share. So I have you know whatever the date may be named, the date that it's due, and I'm gonna need two additional fields. I'm doing a single select for my calendar notification. This is what's going to trigger the actual automation, and I'm gonna put two things in here. I wanna do the first one as send initial invite and then my second one I'm gonna say update let's say update calendar invitation so I have two different options here obviously being the first one just sending that initial here's the alert um, and let them put it in their calendar. The sec second one um, will be a condition in my automation that will allow me to update the original calendar event. So once that creates, we'll move into our automation. All right, so now in my automation, I am going to say when a record is updated, that's gonna be my trigger. And I'm pulling from my checklist table and the field that I'm watching is my calendar notification. So now I'm gonna do um, two conditions. So my first condi conditional logic is if my single select that we just created is send initial invite. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create an event via the Google Calendar. I have my Google Calendar account um, already linked with my Airtable, so I'm gonna select that one and select my personal calendar. All right, now for my start day and time, I'm gonna be utilizing the date that was the due date in my base. If I had a time in here, I could utilize that. I don't, it's just a straight day. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my start date and time, and I'm gonna make them each dynamic. I'm gonna choose that due date. And I'm gonna make mine an all day event. So again, if you had times in here, start, stops, all of that, you could do whatever you wanted. My title, I'm gonna go ahead and just use as that first title from the base. If you wanted to put a description in here, you could. It's gonna show up kind of like on the, um, the calendar invite when they pull it up on their phone too, whatever that might be. They'll get to see that on there. So let's go ahead and just put a test one so we can see what that looks like. Simple enough. I don't need a location um, for mine. Now my attendees, this is what actually sends the invitation to the person or the recipient. I have an email address associated with this one. So we have our, for us, it's a property address that's linked to this date. I'm going to just add a lookup field of an email address. All right, so now I have this email address in here. I'm gonna go back to my automation. And under attendees, I'm going to pull that email that we had associated with and its value. Now, if I didn't want it to send the 
email notification, we would click this button here, but I want it to. So we're gonna go ahead and let's test this action. And we are going to test it on this record here. All right, so let's test it. And now in my email, I should be receiving a calendar notification. And there is my calendar invite. So you can see who it was sent to. Um, they can approve it or deny it. Here's that note that we had inputted. So a few things to, to note on this is if you are sending this from your calendar, um, to say yourself as like a BCC, you will not get the email notification. What's going to happen is in your calendar, it's gonna show up right in here as it is. What I need to do now as the recipient is if I'm in here and I say yes for this, then you can see it's added this to my calendar. And if I click on it, just like if I was on my phone, I can see the notes that were in here. If we did put a location, it would be in here. And then obviously too, if we had a start date and time, it would be in here as well. So now I wanna take it one step further and be able to edit this calendar invitation that was sent already. So I'm gonna go back to my automation and we're gonna update this and we're gonna add another step. So in this first step of calendar um, initial invite, we are going to add a step that says update record in that same table, that same record ID. And the field we're gonna update is what we had put initially on the setup, which is the calendar event ID. From the Google Calendar Create, I can select that event ID. So now when the automation runs, it's gonna send that invitation to the recipient and it's going to also update that record. So let's go ahead and give that run another test. Archive that. And here you can see our calendar event ID has been updated. All right, so let's add the next step or next condition. And that's if something changes. Let's say we have a date that changes on here and I wanna be able to update this initial one. So for my base, let me go ahead and change the date on here. And let's say the 18th. Let's go back to the automation. So now I'm gonna add my next condition and we're gonna say if that calendar notification, is updated, then we're gonna go back to the Google Calendar and we're gonna update the event. Gonna keep selecting from the calendar I have associated with it. The event ID we are pulling in. And the fields we're gonna update are the start date and time again. I'm gonna go back and make this dynamic. and we're utilizing the due date. I'm also gonna add my agent's emails back in here as attendees. Uh, I just do this as like a double um, check and to make sure that it doesn't just like delete out the old attendees. So from here, let's go ahead and test our automation. Now, with updating the calendar invitation, the recipient will not get an email notification saying that this has been updated. What will happen is in their calendar, that date is going to automatically change from what it was to the new date. So if you wanted to add another step in here, you could. You could say, you know, at the same time, send an email to your recipient.
and let's say updated calendar notification. We'll utilize the name that we used earlier for the calendar notification itself. Let's just say this is just an update that this date has been updated to, we can go ahead and add that due date again. in your calendar. All right, so simple enough. We can go ahead and update that. And then let's go ahead and run it all at once. So we'll take a new date. Let's go back and just make this one the 11th because that's the dates we were working on. Let's send that initial invite. There it is in my inbox. We will hit yes. Now it's gonna show up in my calendar with any notes. Let's go back to the base. Let's update our date, let's say to the 25th and update that calendar invitation. And there you can see there's my email. I just used an Airtable automation email. You could connect your own, do it here. And if I go to my calendar, you can see that that date was moved to the 25th. So now I have a way to send calendar invites and to update them um, and have the recipient be notified via email as well and add it to their calendar. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any other questions or need anything that needs implemented, go ahead and reach out. Thanks.